I put a 3060 Ti inside of my Joker build and on three separate platforms, I caught a little bit of heat for using this particular card. And that had me scratching my head wondering, why so much hate on this card? I mean, with inflation at, at all time high and you can't go to a grocery store and buy 10 items for under $100 these days, is paying $300 on the used market for a mid-tier card really such a negative thing? Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. And I am trying to wrap my head around why somebody would think that this is not a tremendous value and a great option for gamers all over the world. I mean, at 1440p, this system is seeing anywhere from 60 to 80 FPS at ultra settings, and at 1080p, we're getting 100 to 140 depending on the game and settings. So that has me wondering, do you really need more than that? And are you willing to pay a ridiculous amount of money to get it? And before I spiral down this rabbit hole, please understand that I am in no way doubting the performance increase you get from the newest generation of cards and processors. All I'm trying to do is justify that price tag and see if it's really something that you need in order to have fun playing video games with your friends. So why not a 3060 Ti? Why wouldn't this be a good choice for your system? I mean, sure, it's not the newest generation of video card that's out right now, and I mean, yeah, with eight gigabytes of VRAM, it's not going to be a strong 4K gaming machine, but I have a 3090 in my system, and even I couldn't justify buying a 4K monitor, so I spent around $1,800 at the time for the card, just for it to be underutilized, and I'd have been better served with something like a 3070, which at the time I think was around $800. And is the performance from a card that is double, triple, or quadruple the amount of money that I paid for that 3060 Ti really something that is necessary in order for you to have a good time playing some video games? Now, I did do a very little bit of research, and I found that only 44% of US citizens actually have a 4K TV. That's TV. I'm not even talking about computer monitor. And when you look at Steam, they say that only 1.74% of users game on a 4K display. And what I found even more interesting than that was that out of Steam's 120 million, that's 120 million active weekly users, the 3060 Ti is the number seven most used card on their platform. And that just tells me that this is a strong performing card and you can use it in whatever game you want at a fraction of the price that you get for newer cards. Now I paired my 3060 Ti with a B450M motherboard and a Ryzen 5 3600 inside of my super villain computer and it's performing beautifully. And the real kicker is this total build cost was only around $900. And if you look at the price that, it, oh man. And if you look at the current cost of 4K gaming monitors, you could buy two of these graphics cards for the cost of a good 4K monitor. And that doesn't even take into account the amount of money you're going to have to spend on a card that does well in 4K. Because while there are a lot of cards that can play 4K, there are really only three that do well in 4K. And that is the 4090, the 4080, and the 7900 XTX, all of which have outrageous price tags. Now don't get it twisted. Having a 4K display and a 4090 sounds spectacular. What PC enthusiast would not love to have those things? But while looking online for the cheapest 4K display I could find and the cheapest 4080 I could find, the total cost of those two items together was $1,365. Now, before you guys start running to the comments section to tell me that you don't need a 4K display in order to have the biggest, beefiest card on the market, understand that I know that. All I'm trying to say is that as you progress into the upper echelons of PC hardware, the rest of the prices follow along with it and everything becomes more and more expensive as you continue to go and maybe that's not what you need. So let's say you do buy the 4080 and the 4K display. Now your total build cost has increased because not only do you need a stronger power supply, 
pairing something that you spent $1,300 on with a weak CPU, it seems like a waste of money. So now you're spending a ton of money on a strong CPU and the list goes on and on until your build cost is massive. All the while, the next generation of PC hardware is knocking on your door and it's gonna make your entire system obsolete within the next year. So would I recommend that you buy a 3060 Ti? Absolutely. And in two years, when the 4080 is worth $500 on the used market, you can sell the 3060 Ti and pick up a 4080 to stay current. Now we are going to play some games on this system right here so that you guys can form your own opinions on if the 3060 Ti paired with the components that are inside of this system would be enough for you. Now if it isn't, I understand. In the PC world, people usually want the best of everything, but unfortunately in this world, the best of everything generally comes with insane price tags and you're gonna have to swipe your credit card so much that it may catch fire. But in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, it is not worth the extra money to get 20 to 30 extra FPS when this graphics card right here for $300 gets around 100 FPS. I wouldn't notice the difference and I'm the person who regrets buying a 4090 because I don't even use it to its full potential. But I am curious, seeing as how the 3070 Ti ranks seventh on Steam, what graphics card are you guys using? leave a comment and tell me down below. Now, all of the gameplay that you are going to see from this 3060 Ti was done on this monitor right here. And that is a 1080p 60 Hertz monitor. And the reason we're doing it on this monitor instead of my other ones is because this monitor is the most common type of monitor that is used in homes across the world today. 1080p 60 Hertz. I'm not a very good gamer, so don't judge my gameplay too hard.
begin. No, no, don't get up. are here setting fires. Of course. With Batman missing, gangs had become more aggressive. It was only a matter of time before the freaks showed up. Well, time for me to crash their party. I can't focus on torch in this plane! Oh. Oh. Better take care of his buddies before they burn the whole damn place down. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. I know that I was being just a little bit goofy in the video, just trying to have a little bit of fun, and I hope that you guys enjoyed the content, and I hope that I was able to show just how spectacular the 3060 Ti actually is. And remember, as always, no matter where you are in the world, I hope that you're having a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.